Hi, it's Therese and welcome to the Waffle Flower channel. Today we're going to be making a card and I'm going to be sharing a really simple way to create a multicolored die cut. So this is a really intricate die from Waffle Flower Crafts. It's called Make a Fish and it's heaps of fun, but there's so many tiny little pieces. <laughs> now what I've done here, and this is one of the easiest things you can do, is I've actually die cut the whole design out of white cardstock. So this is a really nice smooth white cardstock because I'm going to be using my Copic markers today to add colour. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. At the moment I'm just making sure that I get every little piece of the die cut and keep every little tiny little piece <laughs> from within the die cut just in case I want to keep them and in, inlay them because that's the wonderful thing about this die cut is you can make it as intricate and as fun as you want or you can pretty much keep it really really simple and you can actually die cut it with lots of different colored cardstocks and mix it up and match it up and that will be heaps of fun as well but today the technique that I'm sharing with you just shows a little kind of little cheats way <laughs> of getting that multicolored look without having to do lots of die cutting so what I'm simply doing is adding my color by using my Copic markers and the big benefit of this is that I can actually add some shading as well I don't have to just have you know if you use colored cardstock or design paper you are you're pretty much obligated to use those colors although you can mix them up and change them up with Copic markers as well like you can actually color your cardstock your colored cardstock or your design paper with your Copic markers or even with pencils um, this is just an easier option for me anyway now my blending wasn't particularly good in the body of my fish but I wasn't actually too worried about that because I know that a lot of it's actually going to be covered up and it's not really going to be noticeable but you could be as pedantic <laughs> as you want here one of the great things too is that I can actually if I was die cutting these flowers out of some colored cardstock then I would be I would have to um, cut them in different lots of colors to get that multicolored look the good thing about this die cut is it does have all those pieces within it so if you don't have Copic markers or um, if you didn't want to color it with your pencils or paints or whatever other medium you've got you have got that option with this particular die set is that you can actually cut it out of all the different layers and still get that look because you'll notice me I have to go kind of searching <laughs> sometimes <laughs> for my little bits and pieces but most of them I've got within um, so I, I just actually put them all into a little bowl so that I could find them and I didn't have to go searching too far for them I'm using a few different colors of Copic markers this is me I'm searching for a flower here <laughs> I found it but I am actually adding that bit of shading even on these little flowers I think it just it's just these small details that add so much to a card design and I think I don't know about you but BG11 would have to be my most favorite color it used to be BG10 in Copic markers until I got BG11 and seriously there's not that much difference between the two but for some reason I find that the BG11 just blends that bit easier if you have one or the other you've pretty much got the same color <laughs> but I like BG11 it's so pretty now I was sort of playing up um, playing around with the colors here and I originally was planning on or thinking about having uh, a pink head for my fish but I did come in and change my mind because I had also die cut a base of my fish originally I did it in uh, white but 
I didn't want to actually inlay all the pieces I didn't want this to be now dare I say too busy because <laughs> it is really busy and it is intricate but I um, wasn't originally I was thinking about doing a dark grey background on my fish so I, I did actually cut one of those but then I was actually toying with the idea of adding some Copic colouring to the white fish that you can see up there and that way you'd be able to do it'll be fun to do as well you know all those little tiny holes that I didn't that I don't fill in with my little tiny inlay um, with the little die cut pieces I could have actually coloured those in in different colours I, I seriously had a blast putting this fish together it's actually the first time that I have used this die and I know that's really sad but I've been so busy I know <laughs> go figure I've been really busy lately what with you know all the holiday season and working and and making cards and videos that I just hadn't had a chance so this die was on my to-do list and I'm so glad I finally got the chance to use it now I am using the matte medium here to adhere my pieces you could use any of liquid glues or you could even use a dry adhesive or use adhesive behind your die cuts as before you cut them but I just find that the liquid glue just gives you that little bit of time that you can actually move your image around before you commit and the good thing with the matte finish on the glues is that if you do move it a little bit too far or the glue does um, squish out the sides you won't see it when it dries it dries a matte not a shiny glue I did decide to use my dry adhesive behind um, the body portions of the fish I don't know why just felt like the right thing to do and I didn't want to wait for the glue to dry for this I know it does dry really quickly but this seemed to work well for me and the dotted adhesive works well if you've got um, like sort of die cuts because it doesn't drag over the holes within the die cut you can actually wipe them away because they're just dots of adhesive how cool are these colors how cool is this fish <laughs> it's so sweet I didn't show you this piece um, of I just sort of decided to color up the eye to match the colors that I've used within the body of the fish um, but you can obviously look at the little pieces within the die cuts and use as many or as few as you want it's just um, heaps of fun I think I already said that didn't I <laughs> and for the tail of the fish originally I was actually going to put like a, a die cut grey um, piece on the base of that but then I just thought it needed that little bit more orange yes needs more orange and more pink and I was able to because I use the Copics I was able to actually do that with sort of an ombre and a bit of a shaded effect so for my card itself I want, wanted like a little watery kind of background so I've got the distress oxide ink and I'm adding that to some Bristol cardstock and adding heaps of ink with my blending tool and then I've just come in with my water spray bottle and then I can use paper towel and just pick up those droplets of water and it just removes some of that ink and gives it that real fun look so the stamp set that I'm using today is coordinating it's uh, also called make a fish and it has lots of fun bold sentiments and this is actually the second time I created my front panel for my card because I got ink on the other one <laughs> anyway so you get to see the set a second and better version so I've stamped out my sentiment using the new fish in pond ink and I'm using the stitched layers dies to cut a window within the frame and then I can just adhere this panel to the um, you know that watery panel that I created and normally I'd pop this up but today I just didn't feel like it and I have a landscape top fold card that I'm going to adhere this to and just using my adhesive again I'm using lots of adhesive I probably don't need to use that much I get a bit carried away <laughs> I love the ATG cunt I have heaps of fun with that now it's my friend and we've bonded it's great <laughs> 
and then all I did was actually pop my little fish and that's my finished card for today so thanks for joining me I've had heaps of fun today and if you want more information head over to the waffle flower channel it's you can find it at waffleflower.com you can also follow us on YouTube and on Instagram Facebook and find heaps of creative ideas there so till next time look after yourselves bye